Hello everyone, it is Sunday, March 14th. The time is 5.23 p.m. and the temperature outside is zero degrees Celsius. Let me spin the camera around and I am here at Yorkdale Mall. And the plan for this one is to head over to Yorkdale subway station, which would normally be accessible through a pedestrian walkway connected to the mall, but that is not currently open. And from there, I will board the southbound train and ride that a few stops to Eglinton West Station. And I'll be connecting to the eastbound Eglinton bus and taking that over to the Young and Eglinton neighborhood. I had just finished recording a video through Yorkdale Mall, which I should have uploaded to my main Johnny Strides channel for tomorrow. All right, let's head outside. Although the right side here is the wrong way. They're doing security screenings and asking everyone entering the mall if they have any COVID symptoms. I found a lot of the directions in this mall are kind of backwards such as here they have the exit arrows on the left and not the right although perhaps that's to align the entrance with the escalator still doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me so when i got here about 45 minutes ago i had to line up right here and it took about three or four minutes to get in but right now there is nobody waiting to get in and there's the yorkdale go bus terminal And this is Yorkdale Road, and that is the Allen Road. So it looks like I just missed the light cycle. And there's that walkway, which is currently not accessible. And there is Yorkdale Station itself. And that opened up in 1978. And it looks like a southbound train is rolling in right now, so I will not be catching that one. I'm guessing this walkway is closed just so they can control each access point. It's probably too expensive to man people at every single door. Although it might be construction related because it doesn't really make a lot of sense to seal off the entrance directly from the subway to the mall.
And there's where the pedestrian entrance would normally be. It says they're closed until further notice. You'd think there'd be some directions to have people take the right side here. There's the look north. The next stop to the north of here would be Wilson. And the first stop to the south will be Lawrence West. And then Glen Karen. And then Eglinton West. Which will soon to be renamed Cedarvale. So it looks like the next train in either direction will be here in four minutes. I can't remember if I got that station order correctly, but the next is Lawrence West, then Glencairn, then Eglinton West. And I have never entered through this part of the station here. This is Rainy Avenue and Rainy Buses Only. If I were to go down there, it's possible it won't let me tap back in until I think five minutes has gone by. Not that there's much to see down here anyways. There's an unmanned booth. Let's see, according to the Rocketman app here, when the next train is. It says four minutes and 18 seconds, but here we go now. Please stand clear of the doors. There's a northbound train entering. <coughs> Next station is Lawrence West. Lawrence West Station. And that is a look to the east.
And there's the look along the Allen. I think there's more of a glare out that side. So just bashed the camera against the glass there. Getting off the next stop at Edmonton West. This Allen Road here was originally supposed to go south through the city down to the Gardner Expressway and it would have gone through the area that is now Chinatown. Fortunately, that was blocked. I'm allowed. What do you mean you're allowed? Why not? Why are you asking me? You don't have permission to videotape me 
Yes, I do. You're in public. Dude, if you have no privacy in public. That's the law. That was interesting. So I might as well just keep the camera running until I get off in Midtown.